I don't mean to be overly dramatic about this, but street signs can lead to life or death decisions. I mean, and they also do the small stuff, you know, turn this way, not that. You know, we count on street signs to tell us the truth so we make good decisions and we can keep ourselves and other people safe. So when we heard somebody mention that there was an intentionally misleading street sign somewhere out there, Marshall Zellinger hit the road for us. Hey, Marshall. Kyle, you know, when I was growing up, one of my favorite books was Where the Sidewalk Ends. And I finally, in my 30s, near where I lived, found a sidewalk that ended and then there was grass. This street sign behind me suggests this is where the street ends. So I drove it. When you see a stop sign, you know it means stop. This speed hump warns of a speed hump. And between 6 a.m. and 5 p.m., the speed limit is 30 miles per hour, or you'll risk a speeding fine that gets doubled. We take signs at face value just like this one. I see this sign that says it's not a through street. It doesn't go to Sheridan. And I'm like, wait a second, Sheridan comes to here. Jared Ewe is not a public works employee. You know, the people responsible for street signs, just a curious neighbor pointing out a curious sign. Can a street sign lie? I don't see any other reason other than to keep people from going through. The sign that says not a through street, no access to Sheridan is where Littleton meets the town of Bomar, population of about 900. The sign is off Berry Avenue, just west of Lowell and Goddard Middle School. I'm sure these are all amazing people on the other side of that sign, but it's a lie. It's a total lie. You can get to Sheridan. And Jared is right. It may not be the quickest way to Sheridan, but continue straight down this path and you'll get there. Shortly after you pass the sign, you're greeted by the town of Bomar sign. That's followed by a 25 mile per hour speed limit sign, then a stop sign with a speed hump, followed by two more stop signs. Then there's another stop sign and speed hump, a third speed hump, another stop sign, and then this. Where is this? Sheridan. They could probably get away with not a through street because maybe it wiggles enough that technically it's not a through street. But then they say there's no access to Sheridan. It goes right to Sheridan. Technically, Berry Avenue has no access to Sheridan because Berry Avenue becomes Bomar Drive, which, as you saw, gets to Sheridan. Wait, can a city just lie? Can you put up a sign? And if so, maybe one, every city gets at least one lie. You know, Denver can put full out of, you know, city limits. I'm still waiting to hear back from the town of Bomar about the sign, which has been up for years, just like this one half a mile away, saying no access to Wadsworth, which is accurate because this road takes you right back to Bomar Drive, which does not have direct access to Wadsworth, just Sheridan. While I continue to wait to hear back from Bomar, I spoke with a spokeswoman from the city of Littleton because this is Littleton where I'm at right now. They confirm that's not their sign and I'm going to show you why at least what I was told why it's not their sign. This is a city of Littleton sign that says no trucks. Look at the pole here. It's silver. And then look at the, you know, kind of misleading, not a through street sign. It's got a green pole. I'm not going to zoom in too much because I need to get back in front of the camera here. But that's what I'm told is the poll is obviously not Littleton's. I asked if Littleton, now that they know that it's kind of misleading, will Littleton remove it from city property? The public works director was not in today. I'll check again tomorrow. They should give you an award for investigating stuff. Uh, this is fascinating to me because now, so I guess everybody just tosses up a sign to reduce traffic through their neighborhood. I'm going to put one up on my street that just says like, like turn around like like there be monsters or something like that. This this has been here for years and one question I'm still waiting is was it ever accurate and it just hasn't come down. Hmm. I wonder if your neighborhood has to be like a certain kind of fancy before you're allowed to lie on a street sign. Maybe that's a different question for a different day. All right. Thank you, Marshall. Good stuff.